Thank you. Dennis O'Rourke. Dennis O'Rourke. Um, New Zealand First continues to oppose this bill, and actually we oppose all the SOPs except one, and that is SOP 317 in the name of Eugenie Sage. And we support that for these reasons. First of all, this bill actually is nothing much more than a blatant land grab by the government. And worse still, it's the theft, and I use the, theft, the word theft deliberately, uh, of irreplaceable parkland from current and future residents of Auckland. And I know the MPs opposite don't like that because they don't like hearing the truth. Truth is their enemy. And if you listen to their speeches, you'll know that. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the truth is that this government has, is, is taking this land effectively by theft off the people of Auckland by the most devious means, using special legislation to avoid the usual R uh, RMA processes, which would require a plan change, and by attempting to sidestep the usual um, consultation, community consultation processes that should have taken place. And the government knows what, what it's doing is wrong, and it knows the community is upset, and it knows the community is diametrically opposed to this, and that's why we're all getting so many emails about this, but it doesn't care. And it doesn't care for two reasons, because from their point of view, it's a good deal. One, they get some land for housing, not much actually, only 300 houses, which is a drop in the bucket but also it gets a treaty settlement as well. Uh, so that's a cheap way of getting a, a, a treaty settlement for the government. It's a win-win it's a for the government, but it's a lose-lose for the community. And that's what I particularly want to speak about in support of uh, SOP 317. The bill uh, as a whole uh, smacks of national party arrogance at its worst. It treats the people and the community like dirt by ignoring what they have to say, by not even having a process which they could participate in. It treats the open space provided by the reserve like it doesn't matter, like it's just a piece of land that you can do what you like with. In fact, Nick Smith just talks about it as grazing land as if that was the truth, which it certainly isn't. It treats the conservation values of this land as though they were irrelevant and shows just how little regard that party has for the environment and, through, and for conservation values. And it treats the Auckland Council's submission with utter disdain. So that's, that's the attitude of the National Party, and that's what this bill really represents. Now, this SOP would at least address part of the government's shortcomings. It requires the proposals to be treated as a discretionary or non-complying activity, and, and I think that's appropriate. After all, this is not just any reserve land, it's reserve land with particularly high environmental and conservation values and open space for the local community. It couldn't really be much more important as a reserve, and yet this government is willing to try uh, to ride rush, roughshod over all of that. The bill would require notification, it would require the public to participate, it would allow rather the, pu the public to participate through a notification process um, and it would uh, allow public scrutiny of the proposal, which, which processes so far haven't allowed. Um, it would allow for the need for the residential land proposal to be balanced against the needs of the community for open space, not just now, but in the future, including the longer distance future, and, and of course the conservation values as well. It would, that balance hasn't been discussed and that process hasn't taken place, and it should have. Now, Mr, Mr. Chairman, um, the, 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 the bill would mean, rather the SOP, would mean an examination of the adverse environmental effects, which, which will no doubt absolutely take, be, be the case with this bill, and would provide an opportunity for people to discuss mitigation me measures which, an opportunity they haven't had so far. It would also allow an examination of possible alternatives. And many of those who have emailed me have said, look at this alternative, look at that alternative. They shouldn't have to email MPs asking for that. 
they should be able to participate directly in a process that allows them the opportunity to, to put forward um, proposals for alternatives. But that, that hasn't, hasn't been done because of national government arrogance, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Dennis Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. And, and, those, and those processes really should have taken place and they're not. In other words, what this SOP does is to do all the things that the government has set out to deliberately avoid. And uh, all for a paltry 300 homes and all because of a, uh, an apparent proposed treaty settlement, which is actually not the subject of the bill at all. Now, having said that, although this is proposed by the Greens, I am amazed by the Greens' decision to um, abstain on this bill. And not just amazed, but extremely disappointed by it, because that's hardly a commitment, commitment to preserve the re uh, reserve, it's hardly a vote to keep the open space. It's hardly a vote for conservation. It's certainly not a vote to support the community. What's happened? Have the Greens gone wimpy about the environment all of a sudden? If so, they'd better change their name, because this is not a green attitude to this, to this particular bill. So maybe they should uh, have a look at how they vote in the third reading, because quite frankly, I've listened to some of their speeches and they are, they are completely incomprehensible, don't make any sense to me, and I think they should make up their mind what they really believe in. And if they actually believe in the conservation values, the environmental values, and the support of the community, they would be voting against this bill and not some wimpy kind of fence-sitting abstention which they're making silly speeches about currently. So I'm, I'm giving them a good telling off because they deserve it, Mr Chairman, in this case. That's not New Zealand First's attitude to it. We know what we want. We want the reserve to stay a reserve. We want to keep the, uh, we want to keep the environmental and, and conservation values intact. We want the open space kept intact. And we, for one, are certainly going to support the community. So I've said no enough about that SOP and why, why we're supporting it. I want to go on in the last couple of minutes to talk about some of the other SOPs. And um, one is the one, the most important of the other ones is SOP 321, uh, which the minister has put, put forward. And, and actually, this is just more national government arrogance. Because what they're going to do now in this, OP, this SOP is to tell the Auckland Council and therefore the entire Auckland community what they should do about this reserve in a micromanaging kind of way, where the where the sports fields will be, how many, how much area will be sports fields, and so on. Now, that's in the face of the submission made by the Auckland Council, which actually opposes the loss of any of this resort, uh, reserve at all. So not only are they not listening to the Auckland Council and the people of Auckland, they now purport to tell them, in a micromanaging kind of way, how to, how to deal with the rest of the reserve. And I have a map here which, which reflects uh, what, what the, the breakup of this uh, reserve is going to be. And what you see is a great chunk of the middle of the land taken for housing, little bits of reserve around the edge, and one new playing field area in addition to the existing ones. It actually makes a mess of the entire reserve, it makes a dog's breakfast of it. It is not sustainable much uh, as a reserve in nearly the way that the existing one would be. And yet this government and this minister is so arrogant, they know best, they don't want to have any process uh, whereby a change of the, of the plan for this reserve would take place with public input. Oh no, the minister knows what to do, he'll just tell them what to do and everyone can go and take a running jump. You know, that's, that's what he means. Just do what I say, and we don't care about what you want. That's what he's saying to the people of Auckland. That's national government arrogance for you. And this SOP is just a poor excuse for the decimation of the reserve. It's an attempt to appease angry residents who will not be appeased by it, because they know the truth. And it's an admission that the land actually is needed for recreation purposes now, and much more of it will be needed in the future, and that is the opposite to what the bill actually does. This is a disgraceful bill 
should never have been contemplated in the first place, and we will certainly, we will certainly, undoubtedly, be voting against it. Call Eugenie Sage. Okay, Mr. Chair, thank you very much. Well, I thank.